Saudi Malta scores the contest. 28-27, Rodriguez. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Anthony Maness scores at 28-27, Dogarian. Yes! 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 And Rob McCarthy scores it 28-27 for the winner by split decision, Christian! No! 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 Fuck! Shit! Yo, what is up, boys? This is your boy Nick with the Pick Me Man. Today, we're gonna be talking about the lock of the week for UFC Vegas 89. We're gonna be back in Dana's dungeon for another fight night card. And the main event's gonna be um, Doug Rose taking on um, Amanda Hebus. I know you guys cannot wait to wake up on Saturday morning to watch this uh, absolutely banger of a card. Banger of a fight night card. So, before we get into it, guys, we're gonna be talking about the lock of the week for UFC Vegas 88 was uh, Isaac Dolgarian. I mean, I really thought Isaac Dolgarian did enough to win that fight. I mean, it was should have been 28-27 for uh, Dolgarian. He won the first round with a 10 day complete domination. Uh, won the second round, even though he was getting tired, he still won the second round. I mean, uh, most of the media members out there scored the fight for Dolgarian. But um, obviously, um, two judges scored it for um, C-Rod. Uh, it was Saul Amato. Obviously, Saul Amato never misses. Um, he scored the second round for uh, Rodriguez. The only difference in the second was um, Rodriguez threw three more significant strikes more, even though he got controlled for like more than four minutes of that second round and got taken on like over and over. So it, I just I'm still puzzled that um, Saul Dimato scored that second for Rodriguez. Obviously that third round was a 10-8, and Ron McCarthy scored the second round for um, Rodriguez. I mean, it is what it is. So that's the game we play. But we hit the we're like five and seven on lock of the weeks now. And uh, we're gonna let's see if we can hit the next lock of the week, guys. So lock of the week for UFC Vegas 89 is gonna be none other than Luis Puello, man. I'm gonna go with the dog here, plus 145 underdog, Luis Puello. He's taking on uh, uh, Fernando Perdillo. Now I haven't been that impressed with Fernando Perdillo. I know he's got some. He's fought a much better competition. I think that's what uh, that's why he's favored to win here. And he's also um, he's coming off that disappointing. Performance over uh, Kyle Nelson. Kyle Nelson. I don't really, I don't really rate Kyle Nelson all that much, but um, he just didn't really shoot level, didn't really shoot takedowns, even though he was losing the stand up, getting popped in the in the face by the jab from uh, Kyle Nelson. I went back and re rewatched that fight. I mean, just a couple of days ago, so I was like, yo, how did he lose that fight? He was just getting uh, popped in, in the face with a jab. I'm hitting. I mean, Kyle Nelson was hitting with some looping shots from like a mile away. And Pedela just do doesn't really use it for work or anything like that. I think Pedela can stay in his face, even though Pedela is making his UFC debut here, so that's gonna be tough. But um, we're getting him as a as a dog here, so plus 145 for Pedela. He's a national uh, boxing like he's um I think he's a Golden Gloves national champion or some shit like that in his country. So I think he's gonna be he's gonna be putting pressure on him on Pedela. And if you put pressure on a guy like Pedela, I mean he doesn't really fight all that well off his, off the back foot. I think Pueblo can pull something off, man. I mean, I don't know if he's gonna knock out Pueblo. Pueblo is so tough, so dog tough. I think Pueblo can uh, win a win a close fight in a in an absolute junkyard dog tough dog fight. I mean, I think Pueblo can get something done in a close. This is in 2020 maybe because I do think Pueblo is is a good decent striker. I mean, if he throw if he stays at range, teeth kicks Pueblo from distance. I can definitely see this guy um, pulling off this season. And, but um, I like Pueblo here. I think Pueblo is going to be more hungry. He's going to be walking him down, landing the bigger shots. And I think Pueblo will get this done by this season. Um, could definitely for Fia see a knockout. Too. I could see like him dropping Padilla maybe. But Padilla chin is solid. But um, I like Pueblo here. I think Pueblo is going to get this done back. On, he's going. Pueblo is going to get us back on the uh, back on the lock of the week win streak. Let's see if we can go. We can bounce back with this one. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. About this lock of the week, underdog lock of the week. This is going to be a tricky, tricky card, in my opinion. I personally don't have a lot of action on this card. I only have like three to four units on this card right now. And uh, I think Pueblo is not a bad underdog on this card. I mean, this card is like a lot of landmines on this card. And I think uh, Pueblo is probably one of the better underdogs. And uh, he's also making UFC debut on the main card here. So I think the UFC likes him here. And uh, I could see him you know, pulling off uh, like a maybe close this season here. So Pueblo is going to be the lock of the week for UFC Vegas 89. Make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I put out uh, lock of the week videos every week. And uh, keep an eye on the best bets video. We did really good in best bets. We went 3-0-1 on best bets last week. 
and I also give you guys a lock. Uh, I also give you guys a Danny Silva as the best bet, plus 160. So make sure you guys, um, uh, if you guys appreciate the best bets video, the lock of the week video, hit the like button, become a member, guys, to support me. And uh, we already have over like almost like 20 members. And uh, yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next one, man. So hope you guys have a good week. Um, best of luck on your bets. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.